let's get started demo first of cloud 3.5 sonnet ai model which is a very powerful create any uh, application with using a prompt so simply if you just create any uh, prompt given the create an applications so it will be create with the visualization effect now see side by side also it is just creating getting that code as a particular agent and also it will be show that visibility like how it look like whatever application or whatever things you have just trying to create that will be show as a visibility now see and also it will work as a you know working environment given the working environment. for example i just write a application which is attractive you know web application for with the quiz so this is a uh, questions for example i just choose this guy and submit now see it is going to the next question once i choose this guy and it is going to next questions also once i click that this guy so now finally your course see and the last also they are giving that uh, questions answer whatever the your scores as well right now further if you want to some modification for example i want to modification something once i just click see once i just click over here uh if you go to that guy and just try to once i click this guy so i don't know it is right or wrong right so that actually i want to modify so for example i just ask to over here okay once user choose the option should be show right or wrong options and then move it to next right so whatever actually think about the modification you can just click and let's see the bait the modifications now see it is just trying to create again now once you done now see it is giving that explanation what they have done actually where they have to remove what is they adding in new things okay and now see let's see try how is look like so for example uh, what is that capital of the france so let me choose this guy so see once i choose this guy it is saying the uh, correct and also moving to next questions and for example i want to choose this answer so this is wrong this is the right one and move it to next question and once i click this gun so see this is wrong and this is right and now finally you will get that uh this answer means this is that uh, nice code as well right so this how actually easily we can create it not only that html and all whatever actually language you want so that you can just ask to question they will give that you know answer or just create an application so that we will how actually we can implement and we can just how we can set up actually that we will do in this session so let's go that so before going uh, first we have to go to that you know that uh, cloud 3.5 sonnet uh, official website so this is their official website and here you have to check uh, let's see this is that comparison model of that cloud 3.5 sonnet cloud 3.5 o plus and gpt4 gemini 5 and also this is the differences actually so now as of now very powerful of that cloud point 3.1 because see this everything we have but uh, some of how we have or not but this is as of now is free uh, that we have the free version so let me show you the pricing so if you go to that pricing part so this is as of now free for that uh, cloud web and ios ask me image and access to and if you want to more so then if you will take at a pro version so pro version will be take at 20 dollar per month but yeah as of now for us it is fine we have to use for free version so let's start for that how we can set up then so first what i will do i will have to go to i just go to that new browser right so for uh, here i want to just go to that official website sonnet 3.5 sonnet and go to this guy this is a cloud ai right and here you have to just log in if you have a, a google account so you can directly google account over here or either you don't have so you can just edit a, your email address as well so let me start with that let me add uh, my email id so it is just my email id so i adding over here now see it is going to uh, some confirmations over here so i have to go my confirmations and i have to just add uh, that you uh, know confirmations over here so let me quickly do that put it over here and verify it yeah once you verify it will ask to uh, you know your mobile number so let me add uh, my mobile number as well confirm and uh, verifications this is my verification code once you're done now see it is moving over here and with my team or that personal use so i will use that personal use so once you logged in completely now see you will get these options right so and uh, you will get this this one right cloud ai dot new and here you will to see 
this is that prompt where you can just add edit and this is that your model and you can add that you know image as well right and just little down you are able to see this is that option actually data this is actually i'm just looking so this is that artifact options so once you you have to uh, not enable so you are able to see only just output that code but you have not see that visibility of that output right so that's for what you need to do simply click that guy and see here you have to just enable that artifacts and that's it so this is that important if you just ignore that one so you have missed that uh, output visibility so what i need to do now i have to just you know uh, create that same ex uh, application web application over here so let me ask okay so let me create for my you know web application for that quiz right and see how is it's working now see how quickly actually he generated right with this you know details as well and this is that options so once i click this guy now see this time is automatically they updated everything and if you just select this guy it is saying okay this is incorrect and the correct option was is a paris right so that's also we can modify we can highlight this one so once i ne click next so i am going to that next question and once i click this guy now see this is also incorrect go to the next and once i choose this guy so this is also incorrect and go next and now you will get that here right so for this application if i want to create in our you know uh, in our uh, what do you say in our blazor app so for example let me ask okay uh, can you can you convert to this web app as a blazor web assembly application see now it is uh, given that output but not visualization why because see the blazor application or the any dot net uh, framework so that records some sdk and all their own environment setup record right so that's why it is not visible but yeah it is saying where actually you have to write code what what is that file what is that also these are there's no see this is a very great explanation over here see the first you have to go to that you know entry of that program.cs file then you have to go to that import.razor file then you have to go to the app.razor file then you have to go to that razor the component index dot that and then you have to just create a question.cs file and then you have to just create an you know, index.html and then also you have to adding some style so those are things also great details over here see program.cs file you have to add this codes over here then also uh, import that razor component so the, you have to add this code over here and then also in this app dot razor so you can just edit over here this code over here app dot razor component and then inherit you know that main dot layout you also just using that body right and then finally index dot over here you can just using this html so this is html which is just binding this is pretty much good code which i already actually test it so that is fine and also this is that code right so look like everything they has just created with one prompt so this is a very very powerful model right so if you want i can show you how actually look like so let me open that quiz uh, quiz web application so see i already just created same uh say integrate the same code let me show you you also can try definitely you will get that same output without any error and all so see this is same actually uh, blazor i just created a blazor application and i just use same code one by one whatever that place actually we have to writing so just i have to adding a writing over here so let me try to run and see how it look like so this is a blazor web application and i adding all that all that uh, necessary so see so same example once i click this guy so it is saying it is wrong and once i click this guy it is wrong and this is the wrong and show the result now finally you can get that result so same code actually which which we have that giving that over here same thing we have to apply in blazor application and it's working fine right so this is a very powerful model which i want to share with you and uh, this is a powerful rather than actually that uh, chat gpt4 as well so that's why i just created this session so use it and make it life easy to coding and uh, any other stuff so thank you and don't forget to like subscribe and share